Come all, in this lecture, we are going to discuss about power laws in a conductor. Now, let us have a look at the conducting surface. And the electric field is acting on this conducting surface. This is x direction, this is z direction and here the y direction is represented by this dot sign because the y direction is acting out of the paper that is in this direction. Now let us assume that the electric field is acting on this conducting surface having the component that is E0 in the x direction and also the magnetic field that is acting on this conducting surface having the component that is H0 in the direction of Y. Now for Z greater than 0 this surface or the medium will behave like a conducting medium. So here is the Z value which is greater than 0 that's why this medium acts as a conducting medium or good conductor medium. Now the value of the wave that is traveling inside this conducting surface will show an exponential behavior and decrease exponentially. So this is the exponential behavior of the electric field having the component that is e naught e to the power minus gamma of z and as we discussed that we are calculating the power loss in a conductor per unit area that's why if we take a unit area on the conducting surface that is given as like this So this is the conducting surface of the unit area. This is unity or 1 and this dimension and the height of this surface is also unity and the depth of this surface is represented by dz. So let me write it. If we take unit area on conducting surface of having depth then it will be represented like this then the current conduction density that is represented by j will also acting in this direction so this is the direction of conduction current density which is acting on this conducting slab having the depth equals to dz here the area of cross section of this conducting slab will nothing but equals to 1 multiplied with this 1 which will be again multiplied with this depth so the overall area of cross section will become dz because all the direction all the dimensions other than dz are 1 that's why their product is equals to dz only and if we talk about the conductivity of this slab then it will be represented by sigma only so conductivity of slab is represented as
sigma and if we talk about the resistivity in terms of this conductivity then it will be represented as resistivity of this slab is represented as one over sigma since the resistivity is nothing but reciprocal of this conductivity that's why the resistivity in terms of conductivity is equals to 1 over sigma only and if we talk about the resistance of this slab so resistance of slab having the depth of dz is given as resistance which is being equals to 1 over sigma multiplied with 1 over depth that is dz and it can also be given as 1 over sigma into dz so this is the expression of resistance of the slab having the depth dz now let us have a look at the current which is flowing inside this conducting slab so the expression for the current flowing inside the slab is given as j into dz what is j here j is the conduction current density and in the lecture of the surface current we have evaluated this conduction current density that is being equals to nothing but sigma e naught e to the power minus gamma z where this e naught e to the power minus gamma z shows the exponential decreasing behavior of this wave which is traveling inside this slab or the conducting medium multiplied with this dz that is here now this slab will also have some ohmic losses so the ohmic losses in the slab of depth dz is given as dw and the dw will be equals to half into the current which is flowing inside the slab having the square multiplied with resistance so if we put the values that we evaluated that is the resistance and the current that is flowing inside the slab then the ohmic losses dw will become half multiplied with this is the current that is represented by i e naught e to the power minus gamma z into dz mod of square multiplied with 1 over resistance value is 1 over sigma dz so 1 over sigma dz if we simplify this value then it will become dw which is given as 1 by 2 sigma e naught square e to the power this 2 that is square is being multiplied with this minus gamma z and become e to the power minus 2 gamma z and dz 1 sigma is being cancelled with this 
sigma in that denominator that's why we are writing only single power of this conductivity so this is the expression for the ohmic losses associated in this conducting slab and this is the current flowing inside the conducting slab now if we talk about the total power loss under the unit length or the area acting on the surface of conductor then total power loss under unit area on the surface of conductor which is being given as W and the value of this W is equals to integration from 0 to infinite ohmic losses associated with this slab. Now if we write the value of the ohmic losses that we calculated then it will be equals to half multiplied with sigma e naught to the power 2 e to the power minus 2 alpha z into dz sorry here is one correction since we know that the propagation constant which is also being represented in terms of attenuation and phase constant as alpha plus j beta so if we write the alpha plus j beta in place of this propagation constant then it will become dw that is being equals to half mod of e naught e to the power minus alpha plus j beta z into dz mod square multiplied with 1 over sigma d z and if we take out this expression out of this mod then it become dw equals to 1 over 2 sigma e naught mod square e to the power minus 2 alpha z here is alpha so we will use this e to the power minus 2 alpha z in the upcoming derivation so this is one mistake now here is the expression of total power loss under unit area if we integrate it then the value of w will become half sigma mod of e naught to the power 2 and e to the power minus 2 alpha z and its integration will become minus 2 alpha z limit from 0 to infinite then the value of w the total power loss is being equals to sigma over this 2 alpha z is being carried out so the 2 alpha and mod of e naught square and this is the expression for total power loss we know that for the good conductor the value of the attenuation constant for good conductor alpha value is also equals to beta and it is being equals to omega mu sigma over 2 so if we write down the value of alpha here then the total power loss under unit area will become w equals to sigma over 2 alpha and in place of this alpha we write omega mu sigma over 2 and mod of e naught square if we simplify this expression then 
इट बिकम वन बाय टू सिग्मा ओवर अंडर द रूट टू ओमेगा म्यू सिग्मा ई नॉट स्क्वायर एंड वी नो डेट अंडर द रूट टू ओमेगा म्यू सिग्मा इज नथिंग बट इक्वल्स टू मॉड ऑफ गामा बिकॉज फॉर द गुड कंडक्टर the value of propagation constant that is being equals to under the root j omega mu sigma and mod of gamma will be equals to under the root omega mu sigma so if we replace this omega mu sigma with the value of mod of gamma then it become w which is being equals to half multiplied with sigma over under the root 2 and here is nothing mod of gamma e not to the power 2 so we also know that the conduction current density is being given as g of s that is surface current also that is sigma over gamma e not into x cap x cap shows the direction of the electric field so this is the representation of conduction current density and if we if we take a power laws in terms of the conduction current density then the total power laws per unit area will become w equals to half sigma over 2 alpha mod of gamma to the power 2 over sigma to the power 2 j of s square now it can also be written as half into mod of j of s to the power 2 under the root omega mu over 2 sigma so this is the final expression for the total power per unit area by analyzing this expression we can easily say that the power loss is inversely proportional to the conductivity that is sigma so power loss is inversely proportional to conductivity so higher the conductivity lesser the power loss and for the ideal conductor the conductivity is infinite and the ohmic losses are zero only so this is the ideal conductor case so this is all about the total power loss under unit area on the surface if you like my videos then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button thank you